As everyone knows, King Vaughn was a tough guy to deal with both in his lifetime and after his passing. When Vaughn was still alive, he would brag about his street activities and even made some of his ops shake. Several of Vaughn's ops persisted in dissing him after his death, but sadly, things did not work out well for them, either they were assassinated or received death threats. In this video I will discuss the people that were assassinated after dissing Vaughn, including one who got death threats after a documentary on him was produced. Trap Lore Ross is a British internet personality and content creator, known for his detailed video essays and analyses within the hip-hop and rap music scenes. Originating from the United Kingdom, he specializes in narrating the complex histories and backgrounds of various artists, like his documentary about Jay-Z, 6 ix Young Boy, and King Vaughn titled, King Vaughn, Rap's First Serial Killer which was removed but later reinstated by YouTube. Trap Lore Ross discussed threats he received following the release of his documentary on King Vaughn. The documentary didn't sit well with many, with Boozy criticizing Ross's work, accusing him of exploiting the rap scene and expressing concerns about potential fallout from the film's content. Ross defended his documentary, insisting it was the result of three months of diligent research into the rapper's life and wasn't intended to cause harm but to present a so far unseen image of the late rapper. Despite the backlash, the film has been Ross's most successful project. Right, well you said you uh, started to get depressed by the death threats and the hate. A lot of Chicago guys saying they were going to kill me, obviously Von Z and R, I, he ain't really a threat, but like, you know, O-Block o -block guys saying they were going to get up with me and, 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 and you know, I get, I get DM death threats all the time, I don't know about you, but I, I, people saying they're going to kill me all the time. Yeah, every I, so often. I, I turned yeah. off my DMs recently, but like, <laughs> it was depressing, it was depressing as well, because it's like, I didn't think the Von thing was going to be that big either, like, Honestly, I know it seems like crazy to say in hindsight now, but like bef the days or before I was dropping that, I was thinking like, bro, are people really going to want to hear three and a half hours of King Von? Like, this might flop. I, I've spent two, three months on this project. People might not rock with this. Um, fortunately, they did, but I... Just go on what you hear. Yeah. You, you just go on what you hear. All these YouTube stories, they be halfway right. They be wrong, bro. I'm, I'm telling right. you, man. They, they, they think that because they didn't got enough from from people commenting on it. They go off comments. Man, listen. If you follow YouTube, then I'm the fifth. <laughs> right? Bro, that I've been working with they the go authorities. Off comments, bro. Like, that that, that I, I've been secretly working with the police. Bro, they, they go off comments, bro. They go yeah. off. Empire's ANR threatened Ross in the wake of the controversy promising to beat his face in, but Ross asserts he stands by all the opinions and facts he presented in the documentary. Right now Trap Lore Ross is still alive and well, but he must watch his back when he visits the United States. Chicago rapper KTS Dre was gunned down on June 10, 2021, in a barrage of gunfire as he walked out of Cook County Jail where he had been locked up since early June for violating his bond in a felony gun case. The 31-year-old Dre, who also went by Cutthroat Dreco and whose real name was Landre Sylvester, died from as many as 64 bullet wounds to his face, head, chest and other parts of his body. The ambush killing happened on a Saturday, a day after his fiancé posted his $5,000 bail. Dre was released from jail at night after police fitted his ankle with an electronic monitoring device. Reports said he was walking toward a waiting vehicle about 8.50 p.m. in the 2700 block of South California Avenue when two cars pulled up, from which several gunmen emerged and opened fire at close range. The suspect sped away, leaving behind the bullet-riddled body of the rapper who was rushed to Mount Sinai Hospital, where he was pronounced dead. KTS Dre was well known for his Instagram lives with ops as well as having bodies in the streets. He had a long-standing beef with the No Limit set, he is well known for punching Cairo from No Limit in the face at McDonald's in Chicago. Him and Vaughn were ops, but not close once, Vaughn's ops were from 63rd and St. Lawrence. But when you belong to a gang as long as someone is affiliated with the other set, he is considered as a op. After Vaughn's passing Dre hopped on Instagram Live, and dissed him. Me and Dow out there, 
Had that man out there on the ground, dead as hell. Me feeling you, you on this time about pasta boss top, you will be to know you. You got royal goofy, can't never take back, nigga. Fuck the old nigga. FBG Duck affiliate BCR Measle was shot and killed early Saturday morning, February 6, 2021 in Bloomingdale, Illinois, the 27-year-old Chicago rapper, who is also allegedly Duck's cousin, was attending a party at the Indian Lakes Hotel at the time of the shooting. Police arrived at the scene around 2.35 a.m. local time and reportedly found multiple gunshot victims. Measle was rushed to the St. Alexius Medical Center emergency room, where he was pronounced dead less than an hour later. Measle was part of the Gangster Disciples, he always hung out at 63rd and St. Lawrence with Duck and other STL members. Measle had beef with Vaughn and other people in O Block. After Vaughn passed he hopped on Instagram Live and dissed Vaughn. <laughs> V Roy and more, you stiff as hell. You stiff as well. Stiff ass nigga. That's how that bitch go. That's how that bitch go. We had 50 shot before we picked up dirt. I say some get on alert. The day before Measle passed he released a diss song towards his dead ops called Die Why, which he included Vaughn and 051 Melly's crew called 051 Young Money. There are two stories to Measle passing, some say it was the Black Disciples from O Block and some claim it was 051 Young Money set. 13th of July, 2021 Lil Kivo 069 was shot and killed on 7000 block of South Normal Avenue near Englewood neighborhood, his ops let off 100 shots at him before fleeing, he got shot multiple times in his throat and body, he was 25 years old. On July 6, 2021, a week before his passing, Kivo released a song called BDK Freestyle Part 2, where he dissed all his ops, including King Vaughn, D-Tang and Nusky. Lil Kivo was from Brick Squad, a faction of the famous criminal street gang, Gangster Disciples. This faction of the GDs was located on the street of 69th and Eggleston in Chicago. The late Chicago rapper, Lil Jojo was one of the founders of Brick Squad. Chicago drill legend FBG Cash was shot and killed early Friday morning, on the 9th of June, 2022. Cash, aged 31, and a woman were shot in a car at 5.32 a.m. in Chicago's Auburn-Gresham neighborhood on the 1600 block of West 81st Street. A black four-door sedan, possibly a Cadillac, approached their vehicle and an unknown assailant got out and opened fire. The shooter then got back in the Cadillac and sped away. Cash was transported to Christ Hospital, where he was pronounced dead. The female victim, aged 29, was treated at the hospital for gunshot wounds to the left arm and upper back. She was listed in serious condition. It was rumored Cash shot her after Cash realized she set him up, because she was the only one who knew their location. FBG Cash was a gangster disciple from 63rd and St. Lawrence and affiliated with the late rapper FBG Duck. Cash was signed to Sony Records and had a baby on the way with his girlfriend, in a video livestream days before his passing, Cash tells his ops to pull up on him after dissing Lil Dirk's brother D-Tang. Uh, see if I have ops, y'all know, man, look. Look, we not doing no pull up on me, dude. What the fuck wrong with you? Oh, man, man, pull up on me, dude. No ass, bro. No ass, it's gonna be a sad situation, fuck. Pull up, pull up and do, do, do anything. Pull up, pull up, punk. Fuck wrong with y'all. Cap ass comments, nigga. Pull up. What gonna happen if they pull up on me playing? Shit, get that lay down. Look at that all the back. I'm talking about something. Man, we ain't gonna die, dude. Fake ass chain. I'm gone from you, folks. I'm gone from the team. You made me get off live, dude. Bitch, ain't nothing fake about nothing, huh? 
Let's look what happens to these things. Huck. Set down with you, bro. Everything ain't real. Three months before his passing, Cash dissed King Vaughn, Cash took a picture in front of Vaughn's mural and uploaded the picture on Instagram. On August 22, a close friend and distant cousin of Atlanta-based rapper Quando Rondo was murdered in Los Angeles on August 19, 2022, less than one week before he was scheduled to go on trial in a Chatham County Superior Court on charges under the Georgia Racketeer Influenced and Corrupt Organizations Act, RICO. Quando Rondo, and his friend Xavier A. Robinson, were riding in his black Cadillac Escalade near a gas station in West Hollywood when Robinson was shot. Robinson was later pronounced dead at the hospital. Quando was not injured. Robinson, a.k.a. Pablo and 10 other defendants were charged in January 2019, RICO laws. They were accused of going on a nine-month-long crime spree that included theft, burglary, entering automobiles, fraudulent financial transactions and car theft, among other charges. Following a brawl between Quando Rondo and King Vaughn at the Hooker Lounge in Atlanta on November 6, 2020, King Vaughn was fatally shot by Quando's friend Lil Tim. After King Vaughn's death Quando went on social media and recorded songs dissing King Vaughn multiple times. He got caught without that pole, not that bitch ass nigga gone. He got caught without that pole, not that bitch ass nigga gone. It is not clear if the bullets were meant for Quando, or for Pablo. Because Pablo was also active in the streets. On June 3, 2024, Lil Josh was shot multiple times and killed in Chicago, Illinois, at approximately 3.40 p.m., Monday afternoon on the 7000 block of S. Merrill. A 26-year-old male victim was on the sidewalk when he was approached by an unknown suspect who showed a handgun and fired shots. Josh was struck in the head, chest, and waist area and was pronounced dead on the scene. He was a well-known op of King Vaughn, Josh was feared amongst his ops, Vaughn once avoided being locked up in the same cell with him. I'm not mad at Three months before Lil Josh was shot, he released a song called 3AM where he mocked King Vaughn, and other deceased ops. King Vaughn had a song called 3AM, it is obvious the diss was aimed directly at King Vaughn. This comes to the end of this video, please like and subscribe to the channel for more upcoming videos.